Okay, uh, look, this has been a, a tough storm to sort of stay on top of, and it's all been because of that rain snow line. Uh, if you take a look at what we're looking at, what we're dealing with outside right now, I mean, look at that picture over here, Trace, as well. Bigger shot. Uh, this is just the bane of my existence. That's your picture, okay? And again, I've been saying all along, there's about three more hours of this. Uh, I just looked at the most recent model runs, may even be a little bit more uh, than that. Maybe it goes to, like, say, 8 o'clock instead of 7 o'clock. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you some model runs here in just a moment. But this snow is the kind that's going to accumulate, and there are some things you have to take into consideration. Uh, I mean, our temperatures are dropping. Snow will stack up a little bit easier than it has so far in the city, and it's been tough to get any of this snow to accumulate in New York City. I mean, we're basically about an inch or so, maybe maybe, maybe two inches by now. The biggest number I have on the board, uh, West Milford, New Jersey, and you sort of catapulted under that first, uh, that first position because you had a band that came through that put two and a half inches down in an hour. It's 14 inches in Greenwood Lake. Monroe, New York, you're coming in at 10 and a half inches. Franklin Lake, you're, uh, you're just about that 10.3. Wayne, New Jersey is eight inches. New Fairfield, Connecticut comes in at eight inches as well. Latest information on this system. System. The heavy snow banding is taking place out there for some people right now. Uh, and that's where it could be coming down at one to three inches per hour. A little bit earlier in the day, I know a lot of you were contacting me here at the station. You had thunder snow in your area. If you hear the thunder out there and it's snowing, that's the fastest that that snow is going to come down. Uh, and Mother Nature can't throw it out of the clouds any faster than she does during thunder snow. Currently, one of those heavy bands is in New Jersey, but it will march to the east. Now, I am watching very closely some dry air that's being sucked into the system, so it's kind of a, a race uh, against the two systems there, but I'll show it to you. It is getting colder Though right now. We're just about down to the freezing mark, so that's going to help that snow to stack up easier. Uh, here's that band I'm talking about. It goes all the way from Atlantic City right up the western border of Ocean County. Follow this dark blue color. kind of loops around all the way up into portions of Dutchess County. And this will move to the east. So the chances of this moving over New York City giving us a blast of some heavy snowfall is a possibility as you go through the next couple of hours out there. Futurecast looks like this. This is your 6 p.m. picture. Again, they're picking up on that band coming to New York City. Uh, uh, maybe another one out on the east end. And as you go through, you say your nighttime hours, here's 8.30. Difference is it's just barely hanging on. Even a little bit of light snow, uh, maybe around New York City at 8.30. We thought it might be even, you know, kind of sort of entirely done at that point in time. So we do think sort of like 3 to 6 uh, for portions of the city, maybe a 6 to 10. But if you do not get those bands that I'm talking about, you got to go on the low end of those numbers. So maybe you're a 6-inch for Central Park. Maybe you're a 3-inch around the Rockaways. Let's go back to you guys at the studio. We will monitor those bands because that could put a... Uh, you know, an additional two inches on any of the numbers that you see here. Okay, just go back to you.